Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install and configure MySQL 8.4 on Fedora Linux 14. But the process is same on Fedora Linux 39. So first open any web browser, then go to mysql.com, then click on downloads. Now scroll down, click on MySQL community downloads. Then select the MySQL M repository, then See here, we have the repository setup packages for Fedora 40 and Fedora 39. Okay, so I'm on Fedora 40. Let me open terminal. More slash etc os hyphen release. See, I'm on Fedora Linux 40. Okay, control L to clear screen. Now, download this RPM package. Click on download. Then right click on this one. Then select the copy link. Then duplicate, paste that link, hit enter. It is done. LS. See here we have the RPM. So we have to install this one. sudo rpm i. Then give the MySQL RPM package. Hit enter. Then provide the password of sudo user. It is done. Now Install the MySQL server. sudo dnf install mysql hyphen community hyphen server. Hit enter. See, it is going to install mysql 8.4. This is the version number. Okay. So, and these are the mysql plugin and dependencies. Okay. So, type 5 for confirmation and hit enter. Again, type and hit enter. So, installation is success. Now, let us start it. sudo systemctl start mysql d. Now, verify again sudo systemctl status mysql d see mysql service is running okay q to quit control it to clear screen after installing and starting mysql service on fedora we have to connect to it and set the password for root account but before connecting to mysql we have we can get the temporary password for mysql server so sudo more slash var log mysql d dot log then five symbol grep give the password see this is the temporary password for this root account so first connect to mysql with this password mysql hyphen u root hyphen p then give this password copy this one paste it hit enter now see we have connected to mysql server 8.4.1 let us verify the version again select version it will throw error okay so you must reset your password using alter statement before executing this statement so we have to set the password for root account so alter user root at the rate local host identified by then give the new password hit enter so after resetting password this won't work okay so this is temporary password now run the same select version command now it will give the version see we have installed mysql 8.4.1 so exit quit now connect to mysql again with the new password mysql hyphen u root hyphen p then give this new password this is the password okay see we have successfully connected now create database by using the command create control l to clear screen create database after scores 
now verify list of the database so databases see new database art schools is created now switch through this database and create a table use database name. otherwise it won't work. now whatever the actions that we are going to perform those will be affected or those will be operated on this database okay so create table Now verify tables show tables see one table student is created let us insert some data into this table before that verify the data in this table it will give the empty set see no records or rows are there in this table so let us insert some data Insert one more row. Now try to insert same S number and different name. See, it has given the duplicate entry violation. So, S number is primary key. So, it must be unique value. So, we have to give a unique value other than the existing. Okay. Now we have successfully inserted. Let us verify the data from this table. Select star from student. See, we have three rows. Okay, now let us create a user. So, create user James identified by password. Give the password I am giving. So, let us verify the list of the users. So, so users this will give you error because we don't have the show command for the users okay so you can get the users by running the command select user from mysql dot user see new user james is created even if you exit or quit now try to connect to a new user hyphen u james hyphen p so password is caps james now try to switch to auto scores. See we have received the error as expected access denied because we have just created user but we have to grant access to this auto scores database for this user. So we have to grant access to this database for this user. I will create another video how to grant privileges to a user in MySQL database and its objects. Okay, So exit. Control L to clear screen. Now we will see how to stop, start, and restart MySQL service on Fedora. sudo systemctl stop mysqld. mysqld is the service name. Now try to connect to mysql. sudo mysql hyphen u root hyphen p. Then provide the password of root. See, cannot connect to mysql through socket okay so even we can also verify by checking the status of mysql service mysql d service status mysql d see mysql service is inactive or dead and it is not started okay so q to kit let us start it again sudo systemctl start mysql d now connect to mysql again mysql hyphen u root hyphen p see we are able to connect and last step is let us restart it sudo system ctl restart mysql d verify again sudo system ctl status mysql d see we have restarted or started 12 seconds ago we took it so until now we have seen how to connect to mysql through command line now we will see how to connect to mysql by using db or mysql workbench i am going to show you how to download and install 
dbweaver okay go to dbweaver dot io dot io click on download then click on this linux rpm package click on it see download has been started and its size is 122 megabytes wait until this download completes see download is completed now go to terminal go to downloads ls see here we have the db so let us install it sudo rpm hyphen i then give the rpm package and hit enter it is done now if you go to applications see here we have the db were community edition c means community edition click on it no then select the mysql then select the next or cancel it click on this new database connection button then select the mysql then click on next here MySQL is installed on localhost only, then give the database name, any database name that exists and username is root and provide the password of the root account. If you want to save a password, you have to check this box, otherwise click on text connection. Click on download drivers. By also, uh, let's provide the root account password again. Click on OK. See, this is the known error. So click on OK. Click on Finish. Okay, now go to see we have to set this public key allow public key retrieval to true. So go to click on OK. Right click on it. Edit connection then driver properties then see here it is false so we have to set true select true and click on ok now right click on it click on connect then provide the password of root account see now it is green so we have successfully connected let me expand this one Expand databases. See here we have the this database. Now we can create the databases. Also. Create database. Test. Click on OK. See new database is created. You want to run the query? Select it. Right click. SQL editor. Open SQL console. Now we can perform the SQL operations. Even if you go to this after schools tables, see we have the student table. You can also verify the same MySQL hyphen u root hyphen b provide the password show databases see new database test is created even if we create database here test one put semicolon if you write see still it is not showing we have to right click and refresh see test one database is successfully created so in this video we have seen how to install and configure mysql 8.4 on federal linux 40 then we have seen how to connect to MySQL and set the password for root account and created user and databases and tables. Then we have seen how to connect to MySQL from the DBver on the Fedora Linux. For more MySQL videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.